My name is Nanako Jaffrey with the sports update. And Ghana's biggest football match between Okra Hato Folk and Kumasiya Sante Kotoko has taken a new twist as their chief executive officers of both clubs have expressed their take on the game. Opoko Inti, Kumasiya Sante Kotoko and Odote Akra Hato Folk are both optimistic of victory on Monday. <laughs> It is the sort of game that triggers exciting debates in the pubs, classrooms, offices, and as it seems, in the boardrooms. Accra Hearts of Oak and Kumasi Asante Kotoko is always more than just a game, and ahead of their meeting on Monday, the chief executives of the two biggest clubs in Ghana have been having their say. Opokunti and Vincent Odota Isoa came face to face at the unveiling of a 40,000 Ghana CD a month sponsorship deal with the two clubs from Goyle. That the sponsorship deal is great boost was the only subject the two clubs could agree on. Beyond that, both are eyeing victory on Monday to underline why they feel they are the best clubs in the country. Kumasiya Sante Kotoko's chief executive Opokunti played in many of those encounters as a player and is in no doubt who is winning Monday's game. Well, I've been playing Accra has to fall against Kotoko since 1980 to the time that uh, I went to professional. Even I came back and uh, played against Accra has to fall. What I believe in is how you yourself will prepare before the game. It's very, very, very important. The self-discipline, the training very, very hard to get your fitness at a certain level is very, very important. Then the mental toughness, no matter what, it's a big game and it can make you or make you. Odota Isua is unmoved by claims that in Accra, Kumasi and Sante Kotoko have always been favorites. The Hearts chief executive, like many of their followers, has watched Hearts emerge from relegation battles last season to one of the best teams so far. He expects that to reflect on Monday. Monday will be an iconic day in the history of Ghana football. Monday will be a memorable day. Whichever way it go, Monday will be a memorable day. I mean, no doubt the Hearts of Folk will come at a stronger club, a better club, and a stronger brand after Monday. That is the big game that everybody is looking forward to in the Ghana Premier League match day 10. But that is not the only game that will be played on match day 10 of the Ghana Premier League. The other games coming up, let's go through the list of fixtures coming up for matches on match day 10 of the Ghana Premier League. And as you see on your screens, very, very interesting fixtures coming up on match day 10. Bechem United will take on Wafa. Dreams FC will welcome Hazakas to the Theatre of Dreams in the Wazebusua Drafts who are at home and they will take on Ashanti Go. Liberty Professionals at the Karedov Park will square it off against the Diana Stars. Mediama, who have not done so well this season in the domestic league, will take on Wa All Stars, the league leaders. New Dubiase will take on Breakum Chelsea in Talais versus Techiman here in Accra. And then on Monday, the big one, Ghana's version of the old classical, is Accra to versus Kumase Asante Kotoko. Some more sports news here. German Bundesliga side Augsburg have revealed Ghana defender Daniel Opare suffered an injury while involved in a last-minute training session on for Friday's goal a stalemate with FC Colon. The former Real Madrid Castilla defender was left out of Marcus Wenzel's team for Friday's Bundesliga clash with Colon. Opare's recent form has been influential for Augsburg after starting and completing all three of their recent Bundesliga games. Let's do boxing now and date for the second defense of Isaac the Royal Storm Dogbe's WBA WBO African title has been shifted to June. The change has been necessitated due to the ban on drumming and noise making in the capital.
The bout was originally scheduled for Saturday, May 28th at the Accra Sports Stadium. The featherweight boxer is to face Edward Kakembo of Uganda in the defense of his WBA Pan-African and WBO interim titles. Both boxers are undefeated in 13 and 10 professional fights. Isaac Dobe gained a unanimous point decision against Michael Papo in his first ever title defense. The second defense, which was fixed for May 28, has to be reconsidered following the ban on drumming and noise making in Accra. Two dates are being considered for the encounter in June. Team Dogwe has proposed June 18, but the Kakembo side wants it on June 25. The venue, however, remains the same at the Accra Sports Stadium. Isaac, the rural storm Dobe is currently back in London where he was originally based to refresh his limbs after a strenuous training regime and bouts in Ghana. And that's all the sports here on News 360. My name is Nanako Jaffe. Thanks very much for watching. Good evening.